Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and still in the beautiful city of Houston, Texas, here outside Chick House. Yes, that's right. So this is a Peruvian rotisserie chicken restaurant. You guys asked for different cuisines, and here we are today, having some Peruvian food. So what makes a Peruvian rotisserie chicken special? Well, we got charcoal cooked. We have a mix of over 24 different seasons, herbs, etc. So I like it. Spices, I love it all. Um, the way they cook it as well, it keeps the inside really, really juicy, and the outside like really nice and cooked and flavorful and spicy, and that's it. Um, so for today we are going to be doing a big challenge. We have a whole rotisserie chicken. We have multiple sides. I'm going to get a pick. I'll probably go with some of the classics. Um, then we have, I believe, what is one of their signature beef sandwiches. And one more Peruvian dish, which I believe is called a Lomo Saltado, which is like apparently just like, like the most popular Peru dish ever, which is, from my understanding, beef, rice, french fries, and uh, some like peppers and stuff in there. So it sounds really good. Anyway, let me get you the exact heels. Let's head on in. Let's have some fun. Um, it's gonna be awesome. I'm excited. The place smells great. I can smell the charcoal, I can smell the chicken, and uh, let's go eat some food and have some fun. Let's go. All right, everyone's here with all the food items. All looks very, very delicious. Um, but I'm here with Pepe. Yeah. So one of the uh, managers, one of the important people here, we'll put it that way. I think he has a number of titles um, to kind of walk us through and tell us all what we have in front of us, because I may butcher some of those pronunciations. So my friend, what do we have going on in front of us today? Okay, uh, we have one from us, uh, the uh, pollo la grasa, this is a Peruvian rosicere chicken style. Uh, we have the plant, sweet plantains, we have the chuca fry, it's a unique recipe, it's a special one from the house. It's sure. our signature recipe because it's, it's, uh, it's very, very tender and very crispy. In, in very tender and crispy, so of course, like you said, the Peruvian rotisserie, Sorry. the sweet plantains, okay. the yuca fries, special recipe, I like that. And if you're not familiar, yuca is like a, like a root vegetable, uh, and like he said, so it's gonna be very tender on the inside, crispy on the outside. I look forward to giving that a try. And this chicken, man, it looks beautiful. And like yeah. you said, so it's charcoal cooked, lots of spices on there, it looks very juicy, so I'm looking forward to that. Now, what these here are, in, are a lot more Peruvian specialties, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that, right? that one is one of the most popular uh, dishes of Peru. The name is Lomo Saltado. Lomo Saltado. Yes, yeah, it's one of the the more the, one of the most popular in Peru because uh, we use a, a, a Chinese technique. It's a Peruvian and, and Chinese fusion. Interesting. Because we use a, a wok yeah. for cooking. We use a, a top sirloin. Of rice, but we prepare with the wok, uh, with the top sirloin, sauté with the red onions, uh, red uh, Roma tomatoes. We use a different uh, sauce, we like a soy sauce. Cool. We have a uh, uh, wine. We have a, uh, we use a different spices uh, for cooking the this kind of food. But actually, it's one of the most popular and one of the most uh, all, all the Peruvian. So uh, every every, uh, every week, uh, it's one of the most popular. So one of the most popular, and a lomo saltado, right? Lomo saltado. So there you go. So it's like Chinese fusion. Uh, we have the sauteed vegetables, the rice, the French fries. I like it. And then we have this sandwich here, which is this is a beef sandwich as well. Am I, am yes, I correct? It's, it's the same. The same. Yes, it's, it's the same uh, meat we use for the lomo. So top sirloin. It's a top sirloin. Well, but we use a, it's a, like a construction sandwich because it has a layer. Okay. okay. It's a Kaiser bun. Yeah. We have a, the cheese. We have the meat. We have the uh, the lettuce, the tomatoes. And there's a little sauce on that as well. Is that the same as these sauces? Yes, because we have a jello sauce. We okay. have a garlic aioli too in, in this sandwich. Okay. It's a special combination. Nice. And our chef, uh, Roberto and Jamila, the, the, the two brothers, to make us this special recipe. So it's a very special recipe. Yes. And then with the sauces here, I got a green, a red, and a yellow. Yeah. I know these are very, I've heard these are really good for the chicken and everything else. Yeah. What, are, what, what are these like? Are they, what, what, how did you describe these? What, what kind of sauce yeah. are they? Okay, the red one. Uh, that one is a, Peru, is a Peruvian pepper, the name is a rocoto. It's the more spicy. Oh, that's yeah. flavorful though. Yes, that's very, right. Very good. And I like that a lot. The green one is, is, a, is a combination of the Peruvian pepper too, and also the guacatay. The guacatay is like a black yeah. meat, but it's one uh, Peruvian herb. Whoa, it's it's fresh. A fresh. Yes, it's very, very fresh. fresh. Wow, okay, and that's delicious. The, and the yellow one, one is the is my favorite actually. Okay. Is the aji amarillo. It's a Peruvian Ooh. pepper, but it's not spicy. It's oh. more citric the flavor. It's in like the yeah, it's like kind of sweet. That's right. Oh man, and a, a little citric. Dish. I think I could almost drink these sauces. They are, <laughs> yeah. they are really good. That's good. 
All right, cool. Thanks so much, my friend. Really appreciate it. I look forward to trying all these things here, and uh, thanks for walking me through the menu. Thank you. Our runs looks really good. Um, I think I forgot to mention that we got 30 minutes to do this, so uh, we might as well get started. Um, no further ado, though, I, the sauces are great. I'm super excited to try all this. And we have an Inca Cola, guys, and Inca Cola is a very popular Peruvian drink. Kind of tastes like a little bit of like a cream soda. Um, I've been sipping on one here. I definitely like it a lot. Uh, let me just adjust this. And so how about we get started, how about we say at the count of three, two, one, let us start man, some of this, ooh, look at that chicken. Feels, feels very delicious and uh, warm. Smells very delicious, that's what I mean. All right, let's go. Mm. Ooh. Oh man. Mm. Holy chicken. Juicy. I'm gonna try to think of words to describe the spice. Like the flavor on it. But man, that is a, that is a flavorful chicken. I don't even, you don't even need those sauces. Mm. Definitely got like a little bit of onion in there, garlic, I think there's some pepper. Mm. Man, that's flavorful though. Mm. I would definitely recommend. Beautiful, beautiful. Hot though, very fresh. And you do, you get that like beautiful um, charcoal flavor from it. Mm. Man, those sauces, just the flavors we're getting on it. Let that cool down. Man. I know the best word to describe this chicken. Delicious. Almost get like a, you get like a cilantro, maybe a little pesto from that green sauce. Go outside and see if we get some dip action. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here at Chick House. Yes, Chick House in Houston, Texas. And oh my gosh, are we ever in for a treat. So you guys always want me to try different cuisines and I was lucky enough to be able to do a challenge here at a very, very well-known and respected Peruvian restaurant, specifically Peruvian rotisserie chicken restaurant. And I will say, man, I'm, I'm so excited to get into this and give you some more details. Hot damn medicine good chicken up. Woo! I'm gonna have to get some more of that after. Like, it's freaking good. Try the red one, the spicier one. Beautiful, beautiful, like just peppers in there. I think I could drink every one of these sauces. So as we've already said, the chicken and the sauces were already blowing my mind. I could eat that chicken every day and I could literally drink those sauces. The flavors were so fantastic, um, the cooked over charcoal added such a great flavor. Beautiful. Got some plantains here as well. And there were so many spices on the chicken. Again, a lot of them were kind of secret. It was like a secret blend recipe, so I'm not 100% sure what they were, but man, did they ever taste fantastic. Plantains are not familiar is using a lot of cuisine. It's almost similar to a banana. So while I could definitely disclose a few of the flavors, a few of the spices on the Peruvian chicken, I'm actually not going to because to 
give you one or two or three of the 20, you know, four, 20 plus spices, it just, it, it would misconstrue your idea of what it would taste like. In combination, it was just absolutely fantastic. Also the way they cooked the chicken, you have that lovely charcoal flavor. It was also just so juicy on the inside. The skins were perfectly crisp, flavored, adhered to the chicken. And this is coming from a gentleman who generally, um, the, the skin isn't my favorite part of the chicken. I loved this, this chicken, skin and all. Like I said, just absolutely fantastic. This is definitely a restaurant I would recommend checking out to try some chicken. Um, so again, we had obviously the whole chicken. We had the Lomo Saltado, which is the um, very popular Peruvian dish that the gentleman said uh, and explained at the beginning. I guess it can be like used as a street food, so you get like on a Friday night, but you, you could see it in, in any capacity. You know, street vendors, restaurants, Lomo Saltado, french fries, rice, beef, and then some vegetables. Um, we had the beef sandwich, we had the sweet plantains, and then, um, so I had to pick that side, I got to pick the plantains, and I also picked another side. Uh, I had to a large one, which was the yuca fries, um, which is kind of like a, kind of like a potato in a way, but a lot meatier potato, maybe more like a, yeah, kind of potato, yam, jackfruit kind of thing in there. And he said they cooked them in a very special way, so I was looking forward to trying that out. Um, of course, hoping I was actually able to uh, complete that and get to it. But yeah, so far, like I said, chicken flavors everything was fantastic those sauces were so 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 good definitely like i said you gotta like if you live in the houston area or in the houston area come on by and, and try those sauces you could just drink those salsas oh just so 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 good uh, but anyway let's uh get to a little bit more um, about the other foods besides the chicken all right delicious chicken really enjoyed that like seriously that's where the tribe never had a freaking kind of peruvian style rotisserie Chick house, definitely place to be. All right, I'll probably try this uh, sandwich here. This is their signature again, that beef sandwich, top sirloin, all that good stuff. Really looking forward to this one as well. That chicken was amazing, so it really set the bar high, but. Mm. Oh man. Oh wow. Very fresh. Lots of herbs. That cheese in there actually adds a lot. So the beef sandwich also had the same beef that was in the Lomo Saltado, top sirloin, which was seasoned, then kind of cooked in that wok, um, which was awesome because you did actually get a little bit of that like high heat flame um, flavor to it. Uh, it was very, very fresh. There was definitely some fresh herbs in there. You know, I'm talking like some cilantro, some uh, some like just, just very fresh, refreshing herbs in the mouth and the flavor. You mentioned there's like a garlic aioli and stuff and just a really nicely flavored um, sandwich overall. Definitely um, enjoyed it and definitely would recommend. This is another really cool item. Um, again, we did have uh, 30 minutes to actually complete this challenge, which it was definitely a lot of food. I mean, this is like pretty much like a big family pack plus like a sandwich and a Lomo Saltado. Um, you know, obviously Family Pack made to feed a lot more people. Generally, one person does not eat a whole rotisserie chicken. However, I tell you, this was good enough that you could eat a whole rotisserie chicken. Yeah, the onions, the sauce over there, very, very good. But I believe that's pretty much uh, the information I have for you right now. Again, we're in the quest for a free meal. Um, so with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully we'll be able to complete the challenge. Um, the last thing I'll mention is the Inca Cola. So Inca Cola is definitely a really cool drink. Um, I actually got to try it at the Coke World in Atlanta, Georgia. Let me know down below if you've ever been to Coke World in Atlanta, Georgia, or if you know what it is. It's basically a great big, well, I won't tell you. Let me know if you know what it is down below in a comment. And uh, at that, let's get to the rest of the video. Alright. We got Lomo Sotada, which is a very, very big dish. There's a lot of rice and everything here. And our sides. I cannot say enough, though, about that sandwich and that chicken. One thing I'm excited about is I'm totally going to use those sauces for those items.
Sure, let's try this Loma Sotaro. Is this a French fries? Peppers, onions, steak, and rice. Wow. There's so many flavors on the peppers and onions there. And the steak. Mm. I'm trying to place words on some of them. There's like cilantro. Thank you. Man, I wish I could, I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but this beef is delicious. And it's super soft, super tender. about 17 and sim. Very, very good. The Loma Sotada was very delicious. A lot bigger than I expected though. There's a lot of rice in there. It's really packed in. That's a hefty dish. That would definitely fill people. Definitely. But it was really nice. Really nice flavors. There's a lot of herbs and uh, that's it, like fresh herbs. This will get from a lot of these like sauces in that dish as well. And I'll try the yuca fries. <clears throat> it's been a long time since I've had yuca. And then like they said, this is a specialty of theirs, the way they do it. Oh wow. It is definitely, definitely unique. The inside's very out. Uh, kind of like meaty. And tender. And the outside actually is really crispy. He was right. Exactly what you described. Their special recipe lives up to it. I don't know, if, is Yuka Jack here? I feel like it's very similar.
All right, just a few of these super fries left. Whew. They're good, but man, they are. Um, they're dense. Very filling. You wouldn't even need to eat many of these. And for the record, yes, they're good to catch up. For my last bite, I will say that was very impressive. enough that was very delicious that was absolutely fantastic in fact um, I was super super blown away check out this great food um, this is the, the, the well, they're opening up a second location it might even just be open now when this video really is released but really loved it the Peruvian style chicken was fantastic you really got to try it I mean that rotisserie is kind of their backbone their bread and butter and, that, and I would totally totally recommend it I was super super impressed with the sandwich as well that beef sandwich was fantastic um, all the every, everything was really good. I have no complaints. One thing I will say though is I know they have some dessert and they have churros And you know how if they you well, I'm assuming if you don't know now, you know, I love churros. I love fried dough I know they serve it with like the dolce de leche kind of you know sauce and There's like a tres leche cake up there. And anyway, let's get some dessert. This was a great 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 meal I super enjoyed it. Would you get this for free which is awesome. So I really appreciate them um, but yeah guys, check out, definitely, if you're ever in Houston or the area, stop on by. This is a fantastic meal, uh, whether you're going to take it home or st staying in here. Uh, but I totally recommend, probably the best rotisserie chicken I've ever had. Legit. Huge thanks to everybody here, let's get some desserts, and uh, this was fantastic. So, huge thanks to them, and uh, that's about it. So, check the place out, and if you want to, stick around for dessert. I love you. Let's eat some dessert. Let's have some fun. Everyone, so I couldn't leave without trying dessert. So here we have their churros, which is a carajeta, a caramel filled, um, some sugar, of course, deep fried dough, and then we have a dark chocolate and a dolce de leche dip, which sounds fantastic. Usually it's like either caramel filled or uh, they give you the dip on the side. Usually you don't get both. And then we have the tres leches, which is basically like a cake, um, which is made with like three different uh, milks, it's kind of like soaked in it. So I don't really know where to start. Mm, um, maybe start with the, ah, the churros are warm. So let's 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 go with the churros. So cinnamon sugar, fried dough. First I'll try just by itself. Mm. Oh yeah. Woo. And it'd be the, uh, see if I can find my Spanish. Reneo. Carajeta Reneo, or car you know, caramel filled. I think that's right. My, if my pronunciation is bad, there you go. So very good. 
really hot, warm, that caramel is really nice. I'm gonna try it in the dark chocolate. Dip it. Oh man. I agree with the dark chocolate. It's definitely a little bitter, but like, like just because it's dark, but it's really good. Here, let's try the uh, Dolce de Leche. Ooh, that looks, that looks good. Just look at that. Woo! Oh man. That like, that is milky, creamy. It's almost like a, a little bit like a, almost like a furthering caramel, a furthering, kind of like almost butterscotch. And here's a dip in that chocolate. Just look at that, look at that drip. Delicious. Very good. I like this. Uh, the Dolce de Leche I really like. Muy bien. Now let's try the Tres Leches, the three milk cake. So, first off, shout out for presentation. Beautiful present. Presentation. All right, so digging in, you see the moist, kind of moistened cake, soaking in those melts. It looks like a, it almost looks like a meringue top. Yeah, it might be a meringue top. And uh, obviously you can see it's just soaking in the milk in there. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Mm. Woo! Jeez Louise. That is amazing. I was worried the churros were going to be sweeter. This is sweet. It is creamy. The cake is just so moist. And juicy. Hot damn. A little bit of like uh, kind of warm kind of winter spices on it. Kind of cinnamony and stuff. I'm impressed. Great way to end a beautiful meal. Some sweet, succulent dessert. is just like I'm, I, you know, I don't need I don't need to describe as well the words I don't need to go so like this cause hot damn that'd be hella good so I'm impressed honestly like I said everything was fantastic the Peruvian chicken, the rotisserie chicken here at Chicken House is definitely a must try. The tres leches is definitely a must try. Everything was fantastic. I liked all the beef dishes as well. And uh, yeah, seriously, I have no complaints. Everything was delicious, the churros were great. But uh, yeah, just amazing, amazing, amazing. I really enjoyed it here. Another one, again, I already said this, but if you're in the area, stop by. 
definitely recommend. Huge thanks to all the staff here. Everybody's been fantastic. The hospitality, um, the delicious items, and I really have no complaints. So yeah, super awesome. So glad I got to come here. I wanted to come here last time I was in Houston. Glad I got to finally make it. And uh, that's about it. So till next time, of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Delicious. Get a meal like this, share with your family and friends. Don't try to eat this much, you don't need to. But yeah, seriously guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for so much for watching. Have a lovely day, have a blessed day, and uh, get yourself some great food. So, check out, better one. Until next time, happy eating. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.